Ryan Pearson. I am 23 years old. We are in Topeka, Kansas, and I'm speaking with my mother. My name is Donna Ray Pearson. I'm 49 years old, and this is my son, Adrian. I wanted to ask you about growing up in Dover. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what was that like? Um, Looking back now, I can see how it was a little strange. There was like two black families in the community, and we were one of them. I was the only black kid in my grade, so that has challenges. What about when you came into Topeka? How was, I think you were in ninth grade, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was a pretty big change going from first middle school to high school and then from being the only black kid and basically anything I do would be, you know, the black thing in that town to come into Topeka where it's obviously a very urban community, lots of diversity within the school. So, I mean, it went from being the only black kid to being considered kind of white as they would say, use common vernacular. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because it was a difference in, like, just the culture. Well, what was the culture difference then? Just a more urban setting. Just, I mean, Dover's a very rural community, so I can't really quantify it. Just like, the what things people would talk about, as opposed to hunting and fishing and going muddy. It'd What's be muddy? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I don't know what muddy is. They'd get in their trucks with their big tires and go down a muddy road. Until they got stuck. Would you have gone? Would you have preferred to go to one school or another? Because I had to actually try to pick the school you went to. So. And I was wondering that. Did you? Yeah. You picked Topeka High over. Yeah. West and Highland Park. I, I definitely picked Topeka High over West and Highland so Park. So what? What made you pick Topeka High? Because it seemed, um, again, going from a very monogamous kind of sameness out there, I was trying to look for a school. That only not had a kind of a diverse curriculum because that mm-hmm. was another problem out there, yeah. but also had a really diverse makeup. So it looked like people from Topeka High were coming from all parts of the city. I thought I saw segregation academically. So I hung out with a lot of kids who were in the honors classes. Mm-hmm. So it seemed like there was a racial divide that came with that. So it's kind of back to the same situation in my friend group because, you know, your friends are the kids you have classes with. And a lot of times I was still one of the only black kids in class, even though as a school was a majority black. But within the honors classes that I was in, I was still there was like four or five black kids within the classes. Mm -hmm. So it didn't change that much. And I mean, my experience was different, too, because all around me, there were black educators, black leaders, black pillars in the community. And again, I kind of always felt bad that you guys weren't able to see that Mm -hmm. growing up too, because I know it made a huge impact on my life. But one of the things that grandma used to say is like, you know, or dad or just the community in general was that you have to be better than. And um, I never wanted to let you guys have to hear that term. Mm -hmm. Because it's not fair. You should be able to be who you are, regardless of your skin or where you come from or your economic background. Yeah, I never did. Yeah.